Are these higher interest rates the reason that you've put home ownership to the side? Well, here are two ways that I have helped my clients achieve the goal of home ownership at a lower interest rate. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you find this topic helpful. The first way that I have helped my clients get a lower interest rate is by asking for seller concessions. Now, the market is currently different in every city in the Phoenix metro area, which makes it a little bit confusing, but that's all you need to work with a real estate agent who understands market conditions in the various cities. Because certain cities that are hotter, for example, right now, Chandler or Gilbert would be considered one of the hotter cities in Phoenix, while cities that aren't quite as hot would be Buckeye or Goodyear. That doesn't mean that you can't find seller concessions in a city like Chandler or Gilbert. It might just take a little bit longer. Now, what is a seller concession? A seller concession is when the seller actually gives the buyer funds at closing to help with closing costs or to help buy down their interest rate. I have a client closing on a house next week, and we were able to get $20,000 from the seller, and my client's lender is dispersing those funds where they need to go in order for her monthly payment to be a payment that she's actually comfortable with. One thing to keep in mind is that when the market gets really hot like it was a few years back, you won't see seller concessions. So there's really an opportunity in a market like the one that we're in where buyer demand isn't through the roof, at least in every city. So if you're looking in the right areas and you're doing the right research with your real estate agent, you can definitely find these seller concessions which are going to change the game for you as a home buyer. Here is the second way that you can get a lower interest rate in today's real estate market. New construction. Builders are still offering a ton of incentives, and those incentives can include anything from covering your closing costs or a lower interest rate. What's cool about new construction is if you go with their lender, typically that's the rule, and they give you these incentives that they're offering, your real estate agent can still negotiate more in your contract. I have clients under contract for a new construction home, and we were able to change some of their finishes, even though it was a spec home and finishes had already been selected, and we're getting them to complete the landscape in the backyard, which is a huge win on top of the incentives that the builder was already offering. Just like seller concessions, builder incentives will not be around forever. The second builders don't need to offer these really good incentives, they won't offer them. So it's just another reason to get into a new build while you can and while these builders are offering what they're offering because they're opportunities that you probably won't see forever. We are definitely experiencing a unique real estate market right now. So if you would like to talk strategy or you would like to set up a call to talk about a potential home search, I would be happy to have that conversation with you. My contact information is below and so is a link to search for homes throughout the Phoenix area. So feel free to use that as a resource to see what's out there. And then there is also a link to my team's first time home buyer guide. This is a client favorite. It will walk you through the process of buying a home so that you can visually see what that looks like before we even get on a call. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Chelsea and this is The Real Deal. I will see you guys again very soon.